Hi. You know, I'm really glad we have a chance to spend a few minutes together. Before, we, we had a few books uh, a few weeks ago that were about kindness, and we found out how important it is to be kind to other people, didn't we? And even little tiny acts of kindness. I think our saying was something like, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. And my name, by the way, is Mr. B, kind of like a honeybee. And I'd like to read you a story today, a little bit about um, staying connected with other people. Something you've all seen before, at least it's this, it's called windows. And you see all sorts of windows back there. I bet wherever you live, there are windows. I bet you can look out one right now. And when I look out the window where I'm at, it's snowing outside. And we're gonna read a story about windows. One of my favorite things to do is to walk the dogs. I don't know if that looks like where you live or not, probably not, but there are places and windows and it must be getting dark because the lights are on in there. Ah, look at that. Look what's inside that house. Somebody's looking out and so, and so is their dog. You ever notice how cats and dogs like to look out windows? Okay, here we go. At the end of the day, before the town goes to sleep, you can look out your window. Getting her coat on, look how happy the dog is. I bet I know why the dog's happy, and I bet you do too. I bet the dog knows that when somebody puts the coat on, that means the dog gets to go outside. And see more little windows lit up like eyes in the dusk. Look at that. Blinking awake as the lights turn on inside, a neighborhood of paper lanterns. People are watering things and sweeping and walking about. And there are things going on inside, aren't there? You might not know those people. You can take a walk out your door into the almost night. Not quite dark yet. I hope it's safe there. And of course, if you're going to go out, you want to let somebody in your home know that you're going to go out and where you're going. You might pass a cat. Yeah, I'll bet sometimes if you're out and it's getting close to dark, there's a cat running around, isn't there? An early raccoon taking a bath in squares of yellow light. Look at this, the light shines from inside out. One window might be tall with the curtains drawn or small with a party inside. You never know what's going on in there, but there are people in there, aren't there? Maybe someday they'll be friends of yours. Between two windows, there could be a phone used for good ideas. Oh, look at that. See, that, that's a different kind of telephone. Have you ever seen a tin can telephone? You take two tin cans and you put a wire between them. You have to do a little bit of fixing. I don't want to go into that now. And then if you speak into your can, the sound can actually go through the wire. And if you put your ear to your can, you can hear them. You can make a tin can telephone. They're really a lot of fun. There might be a hug. Look, there's a hug in that window. Or a piano. Somewhere in that window there's a piano, and if you walk near that window and are real quiet and listen, you might be able to hear the piano. And somebody might be learning to dance. Another window could be dark with a sleeping plant or two. Or maybe bright and rounded like the moon. And look at that window. It does look like the moon, doesn't it? Some windows will have dinner or TV. Others are empty and leave you fill them up with stories. Hmm, that looks like maybe nobody lives there. A little scary looking, isn't it? it? Says, beware of dog. Then you arrive home again and you look at your window from the outside. Someone you love is waving at you. Look at that. Maybe a mom or a sister or an aunt or your grandmother. Or somebody there cares about you enough that they're waiting for you at the window and are waving to you. And you can't wait to go in. So you do. And look at that. Somebody in there cares about you and wants to read you a story. Gee, I'd like to know sometime when we get together what you thought about that book and about taking a walk out like that and wondering what's going on behind those windows. And maybe there'll be a friend someday or somebody you like. You never know, do you? But it's fun to think, isn't it? I'm glad we spent the time together. And thanks for listening to this. And I hope I get to see you soon.